Hey everybody, come at you with a small quick shot video of what to do once we get our matinee and our camera working and we want to show off our work. Uh, so we're just going to jump right in here and we're going to go open up our matinee interface. And I'm going to go ahead and full screen this because uh, what that does is it brings up the controls we want. Uh, you'll see on the far right of this top uh, ribbon up here, we have the record and movie button. Uh, the record button is we're not going to worry about that today. Don't press that. It does weird things we don't need to do. The movie button is what everyone thinks of when they want to essentially export a matinee. Uh, what this does is it will create a movie of your gameplay and it will go beyond the matinee. So it's a little tricky that it's in the matinee interface. Uh, you could essentially click that button and run around in your game world and it will record that gameplay also. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to click this movie button uh, for the movie options, uh, generally we use an image sequence. Uh, it's just easier to composite in video software, plus the file size is significantly smaller, as I'll demonstrate in a minute. Uh, so just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to do an AVI movie at 1280 by 720 resolution with 60 frames a second. Uh, I want to keep the editor open while I'm doing this, so I'm just going to leave that unchecked, and I want cinematic mode on. So I'm going to click OK. Uh, what this does now is it will launch our game and start playing our matinee and start recording it immediately. Okay, so you notice it launched a standalone game. There were a couple frames at the beginning that were the player spawn. Uh, another good reason to use image sequences is you could just cut out those first couple of images and no one would be any wiser. Alright, so what this is doing is it's recording our video to an AVI file. And uh, you'll see the quality is fairly choppy, uh, partly because my system is fairly old, partly because it's using an uncompressed format, which we'll get to in a second, is also hideous for file size. <laughs> Alright, so just right there, we're not even done with the matinee yet, it's just going really slow. I'm just going to hit the tilde key on the keyboard, and I'm just going to type quit in our editor window. Uh, now where it saves these files, it will be in your Unreal Projects folder. So in your Documents and then Unreal Projects, I'm just going to navigate to this project folder. Uh, there will be a saved folder and it will be inside Video Captures. Uh, so you'll see that Movie Zero, we, what we just recorded, is 9 seconds long and is almost 2 gigabytes of size. So that's horrendous. Uh, you'll see also that if I were to play this in like Windows Media Player or something, the frame rate would be terrible. So We'd have to take that into Premiere and make sure that that got compressed correctly. Real pain to work with. So I'm just going to delete that movie. I don't like working with AVIs out of this. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the matinee and back to the movie button. So capture type, I'm going to set as JPEGs. Capture resolution, leave everything the same. I'm just going to click OK. That will uh, be exactly the same process as what we just did. However, it will now save it as an image sequence instead of a AVI file type. Uh, so you'll see it's got the same type of choppiness, which is okay since it's going frame by frame, and when we take it into uh, whatever video editing software you use, uh, you won't notice at all. It will be very smooth, it'll look fine. And like I said, since this is image by image, it's uh, no guesswork as to what frame you're on. Very easy to composite, very smooth to use. Alright, I'm just going to type quit early there, so I can show you guys where this file gets saved to. So after you've captured what you want to capture back in your Unreal Projects folder. In the saved section there will be a folder called screenshots uh, and in there it will create a Windows folder and then you will see all your movie frames. Uh, now if I'm to go back to this Windows folder and open up the properties for file size uh, you'll see that is 53 megabytes which is significantly less than that almost 2 gigabytes of 9 seconds. Uh, so that's it. It's how to export movies using Matinee and where they get exported to. Hope that was useful. Uh, stick around for the next video. The next.